Alright, what's up YouTube? Alright, uh, I guess this episode of uh, high, uh, high Quality Stories, um, I guess I'm going to talk about uh, the time I was almost raped, uh, actually in my own house. Um, so basically what happened is that back in February, um, all of a sudden my uh, roommate kept getting these text messages from somebody from Denver, Colorado. Um, next thing you know, uh, he's saying that he's got his plane ticket, he's on his way down here. Um, and I'm at work at the time he actually comes down to the house. But um, basically, uh, you know, I go inside, I go inside the, home, I go inside the house. And, uh, you know, he's, we're making our introductions, and at one brief second, enough for me to notice, his eyes kind of, like, widen up. First brief second before he kind of smiles to shake my hand. I kind of thought that was a little weird. Anyway, they end up going to the, um, they end up going to the bar, bring somebody home. Everybody just kind of does their own thing. Um, that was his first night. Uh, his next full day, which is the night that, of the incident, um, later he just kind of spends the whole day drinking, you know, his first time on the island and all that. And um, uh, he, get, he has a little one too many beers, so eventually it gets to be like 10 o'clock at night on uh, March 8th, uh, 2016. So it was, on a, uh, it was on a Tuesday night, basically. So it was a it was a working night. Um, I'm just trying to calm him down so he could go to bed. Uh, so basically, I, so uh, so he could go to bed so I could get some sleep. Um, anyway, while we're in his room, and, you know, I'm, I'm at the edge of the door. Uh, I can just basically show you that, this part. All right, so here's his bedroom and all that. Where's the light switch? All right, so I'm like standing like right where I am right now. And where the camera is, he's just looking at me dead in the eye. And he's telling me just how when he first saw, uh, when he first laid eyes on me, he was like basically very attracted to me. And apparently, obviously, he felt the need to tell me that the second night we just met. You know, not even knowing what my sexuality is or whatnot, just happens to give some sort of out the out the door introduction like that. Um, didn't really know how to take it. Again, I was like, okay, he's drunk, so I don't know what he's doing. You know, he's 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 probably not remembering this. He's probably blacked out by now. This is probably just his body thinking, not his mind. Um, next thing you know, before I. Uh, before I can even realize what's going on, he starts getting up to my face and sniffs me for a second and then leak, licks me like right up here. Like just licks me. Um, he's still not going to bed at any point. I'm really, I'm surprisingly to how I got fought over him, just the realization that he was licking me. Um, I was like, well, you know, my life's pretty much fucked up as it is. How is this any different? And that was the only, I, I guarantee till this day, that's the only thing to kept, he, keep me from getting traumatized by that moment. Because he licks me more than once. Um, so I'm wanting to get the hell out of there. But I, he's not, you know, he's right at his bed, but he should be going to sleep right now. So I'm just, like, he's this close. I don't want him following me into my room. Well, eventually, his, his drunkenness goes on a whole new level without any consumption of alcohol whatsoever. And um, he's trying to talk to me and all that. I'm hoping this is all just a conversation so he could just lose some energy and go to sleep. Um, and then he starts... All of a sudden, he decides to get from his bed, from where he's sitting, grab me with my hands, you know, with my hands laced with his, and he's throwing me on the bed. Um, 
the whole time my hands are still laced with his so I can't really get out of anything I'm like this on his bed and um, all of a sudden he starts sniffing me again luckily I have my shirt on and my pants um, he starts licking my chest area he starts going near my uh, he starts going near my dick um, and he's burying his teeth at my dick like on it like again pants are still on but you can, I can still feel his teeth bearing on my dick right now. Not right now personally, but like right now at that moment. And oh, I'm just like, oh my gosh, what the hell is going on? Next thing you know, he starts getting really crazy and violent. You know, for some reason he lets go. I sit up, all of a sudden he just gets real violent. He gives me a knife starts wrestling me and say and tells me the only way I can get out of him wrestling me is if I stab him to death right then and there. I managed to get out of a sleeper hole because I used to wrestle with my brother all the time. Um, get out of it, not have to use a knife whatsoever even though I regret doing that almost. Uh, next thing you know, he's just beating the crap out of me. Somehow I'm not making any bruises. Finally, because I'm not even aware what time it is at this point, I'm just hoping my other roommate wakes the hell up because it's obvious if I try going to my room, I would lose my virginity in the, in the worst way possible. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just pretty much in a conundrum. So he's beating the shit out, he's starting to beat the shit out of me. I have no bruises surprisingly from it. And, um,. I'm like 10 minutes away, like 10 minutes away from me, from all this being over with. Like he punches, like he punches right here on the mouth where my teeth, to where my teeth cut the inside of my mouth, so where I have a bruised lip for like a whole week. And I'm still having to go to work, so of course I can't say the excuses. Oh yeah, uh, we got a new roommate, and uh, he punched me in the in his bedroom at night. Uh, so I just made the stupidest excuse, which seemed to uh, be goal, you know, reasonable enough, or people were just goal enough, gullible enough to buy it. And it was just basically bad timing with the door. Luckily, it went away in a week, though. But okay, he's punching me. The inside of my mouth's now bleeding. He's not like the knife's still in visible possession. He, you know, my eyes are still hurting from him trying to gouge him out with his thumbs. And at one point, I'm just there, defenseless on, you know, just knees down. Luckily, none of us have our clothes off yet, or at all, for that matter, because thank God that didn't happen. And he's wanting me to um, whip my penis out and uh, basically masturbate right in front of him. Like, he wants me to masturbate in front of him in his room. Like, take my pants off and masturbate in front of him. Luckily, right then and there, he has to use the bathroom because I'm, again, without my pants being off, my hands on my regionals, but I'm not really doing anything. Um, so he luckily has to use the bathroom. Somehow manages to forget about the whole thing. He finally decides to go to bed. He kicks the door, in the, he kicks a hole in the door for a second. Then he goes to bed. I'm finally able to go to my room, go to sleep. Somehow in the middle of the night, my brain decided to wake me up. And next thing you know, I see him standing in my room. Uh, I guess he didn't know what was going on. So he decided to walk off and try opening every other bedroom door before he went back in his to go to sleep. But um, yeah, all that right there is basically the the uh you know it's basically the closest i've ever been to getting raped and uh you know like i said i i feel like if i didn't just have so much self-pity on me as it is i'd probably be traumatized by it but yeah that's basically the story of how i almost got raped on march 8th 2016 so uh yeah, like I said, that would have been the worst way to lose my V-card, but thank goodness it did not happen. So anyway, that's uh, that's my story for this video. Um, 
hope to hear from you guys soon. Uh, hope to make uh, make more videos soon. And uh, I guess have a good night.